everyone. Hello, hello. Um, hopefully you can see my screen. Um, I just wanted to start. Okay, I'll just leave it this. I just wanted to start with like a quick um, explainer of the project before moving on to the demo. So our project basically consists in um, like checkpointing the Filecoin chain onto the Bitcoin blockchain. And the idea is like uh, by doing so, we are going to leverage the security of proof of work. And uh, basically, it's going to be some added security for the Falcon chain. So uh, the way this checkpointing is going to work, we are going to use threshold signature. So the idea is like the Filecoin miners, they are going to perform like a threshold signature um, in order to sign the transaction that is going to end up in the Bitcoin chain. So this is leveraging um, the Taproot upgrade, if you heard of it. So the, it's a recent upgrade in Bitcoin that allows for a threshold signature. So basically, there are two components in this protocol. So the first one is the distributed key generation. So if we want the Filecoin uh, miners to do uh, a threshold uh, signature, first they need to compute an aggregate key. Right, that's going to be uh, associated with this signature. So that's going to be the, the, the first part. And the idea is that whenever the Filecoin um, miners set is going to change, um, this new, the new set of miners will need to recompute a new key. So basically, for each set of miners um, in Filecoin, we're going to have a new uh, distributed key generation algorithm. And then the other part um, of, the, of the protocol is the sign. So the idea is like um, if we have you know, one key PKI, and then we have like a new set of miners that have computed like their new key PKI plus one, uh, the previous set of miner is going to send a transaction. So we're going to have a transaction in Bitcoin that's going to transfer all the amounts associated with PKI to PKI plus one. And the idea is like uh, next the miner associated with aggregated key PKI plus one are going to be able to do the check. And in addition to transferring this amount, we are going to add some data here, CID, onto the Bitcoin blockchain. And the idea is that uh, everyone can then like get the data that is associated with our transaction and use uh, a file system, for example, RPFS or Filecoin, and then uh, this like a checkpoint, like CID, is going to give back some information about the chain. So everyone basically can use the Bitcoin chain in order to retrieve all the information uh, necessary to know that your Filecoin chain is correct, like hasn't been attacked. Um, OK, so now on to the demo. So first here um, on my machine, I have um, I have Bitcoin testnet that is already running. So basically, this uh, demo, it's going to be running on the testnet. So uh, let me start. I am going to uh, basically launch three nodes. You're going to have Alice, Bob, and Charlie. And the idea is like Alice is going to be the one that is going to be uh, mining uh, Filecoin blocks. So we are using like a, not the real Filecoin um, network. We are using Udico, which is like a mocked, let's say, a consensus protocol. So here, Alice is basically the only one that is mining block. And the other, Bob, uh, Bob and Charlie, they are just like fetching, fetching the block from her. So at the moment, you see like the block are being created. So at the moment, nothing is happening. So first, what we are going to do in order to get started is that we are going to basically add uh, power, like add miners to Udico. So as I said, like um, this is only Alice min mining. So it's just going to be like fake, fake miners. So here, what I say is like I send a transaction that said, oh, now we are just pretending that Bob and Charlie are also minor. And then what this has just triggered that you see here on my screen is the distributed key generation algorithm. So as I said before, when you have new miners, they need to do this distributed key generation so that they have their key. And now that they have their aggregated key, well, basically, they can uh, check. And uh, what I've done here, so here, basically, like you see this transaction, that is the one that, being, that is being sent on the, on the Bitcoin testnet. 
And here, what I did is like every 15 blocks, there is, there is a, new, a new checkpoint being created. So now let's do something else. Let's add a new node. So first, I'm going to create a new node. So that's going to be Dominic. Um, OK, so Dominic now is basically syncing its uh, Filecoin slash Udico chain. So now uh, Dominic is. So now I'm going to do what I've done just before. It's just I'm going to uh, basically add Dominic power to the, to the chain. So again, this is like mocked power. We're going to pretend that uh, Dominic is a minor, even though he's not. Uh, OK, and here you see again that I've added Dominic. And so this has triggered a new distributed key generation protocol. So now um, the idea is like the next checkpoint, Dominic is going to be participating. So we need to wait because we, um, we first need uh, the transaction that's going to go from the key of Alice, Bob, and Charlie to transfer the amount to the key of Alice, Bob, Charlie, and Dominic. And basically, once this has happened, we see that now Dom is also doing the checkpointing. OK, let's just wait for one more team printing. Then uh, we'll stop, and we're going to have a look at the so now I've stopped. Now let's have a look at the Bitcoin chain. Um, OK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the, on the Bitcoin like testnet explorer that is just available online. I'm going to pass the last transaction. And here, basically, we see like this is the last checkpoint that um, everyone has done, we see here that it is unspent because I've just stopped the, the deal. Um, so now let's have a look at the, at the transaction. So that's the input. So basically, that's, that's the produce key. And here we see that here we have our uh, aggregated key. And we have the second output that I've mentioned before, which is like the, the data, the CI. So now what we are going to do is that we're going to take the CID. And well, for the moment, I'm using a uh, Minio, but um, that's just for demo purpose. Later on, we will be using like something else. So for example, IPFS or just like Python. And here I'm going to pass the, the data that I just got from the Bitcoin transaction. And I see that here, indeed, the, the, the data is in my storage. So I can look at it. Uh, okay. Okay, so now I can look at it. And basically, what we see here is like the first line is the UDPO checkpoint. So basically, I can use this to verify that the chain that I have is the correct chain. And then this line, this is the ID, IDs of my miners. So Alice, Bob, um, Charlie, and Dom. So basically, I can use like these IDs if I'm like a, a newcomer, let's say, in order to connect to the right peer. So by connecting to them, I know that I have like the right uh, people. And um, basically, like here, you know, I started from the from the last checkpoint. But the thing that is nice is that you can, you know, like just um, here, like follow the the the, the chain of transactions. So for example, you would go from you know the, the first key that you are aware of. And by just like following how the transaction has been spent, you, you can just see like where we are at and basically have an updated uh, version of uh, of uh, Python. So that's that's mostly it for the demo. And I'm just on time. <laughs> Perfect. 